a piece of advice for aspiring writers, I would say, um, well, discipline is important. You have to start writing in the morning and uh, you have to, I think discipline is good, not for everybody, but for, give, it a, give it a try at least. I also think that the French writer Michel Wolbeck, when he said, when he was asked, um, how do you dare to write what you write? He said, well, I pretend I'm dead when it's going to be published. I think that's very good. If you feel afraid of actually open up and let those dark sides of yourself walk around in the text, you can actually think that, um, well, uh, perhaps it's not a good advice for <laughs> for aspiring writers because it sounds so bad. <laughs> no, you don't have to pretend that you're dead. I mean, when I was going, my first book, I was thinking about my mother. I thought, oh, she, it will be so tough for her because she will see that her daughter is not a nice person. Her daughter is like a dark demon and she will be so disappointed and she will think that, oh my God, this daughter can't be mine and all that. But my mother, when my first book came and it was like very spicy so to say it was lots of violence and sex and things and she was so happy I mean she was like oh my god I didn't know you could write like this and she was so proud so perhaps that's a good advice don't think your mother will not like it because she might actually do then I think uh, Roberto Bolaño has a very good advice like don't no te hagas mala sangre don't be bitter, don't let yourself be bitter um, because when you start writing everything is fun but then uh, it will get tough. Uh, so don't get bitter and try to, um, how to say, to cure, to, 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 to cultivate that initial happiness and, and that reason to why you started to write once and when you get stuck go back to that happiness and ask yourself, why did I start? What, what was fun? What did I do? Well, I took a walk and I just took some notes on scraps of papers and then I wrote a short story or I read Patricia Highsmith, a wonderful short story and I wanted to try myself. Go back to those initial feelings and, and, um, and, uh, and, and start over again and never give up and always rewrite. Uh, I, I, I rewrite my text like 50 times perhaps, and uh, because nothing is perfect from the beginning, but you have to go over it again and again and again, and um, do exercise because it's very, it's very tough for your back. That's important.